And Mark, you're getting a live look right now at that scene from Skycam 6. You see the light there in the woods that's shining on a vehicle. That's the one that went off the roadway and flipped. Again, a person dead, but you're looking at the scene of where traffic is slowing down. Southbound I-65 at 71st Street. You can see drivers shifting over into that left lane. And we do have a little bit of a backup now, as you can see from Skycam 6 for drivers heading in from the northwest side. For more details on what happened here, let's send it out right now to our reporter at the scene, Eric Cox. Good morning, Eric. Yeah, good morning, Lauren. One person dead as a result of this crash. And you can see the crews working back here by where this fence is broken. You might not be able to make it out, but there was a fence that protected people from crossing off the road and into the trees. Well, that didn't happen to work this morning here, but you can see the vehicle back there upside down right now as we speak. That's because that car flipped off the road here through this fence and back there. Now, after speaking with a state trooper, he tells me that they aren't even able to identify the person at this time. They don't know their age, their gender, what have you. One reason, because the car's upside down. Another reason, because inside the car, the person's clothes are pretty much covering them up, so they aren't able to make those sort of identifying factors out. That's why they're waiting for the coroner to come out here and help them figure those things out and determine this person's identity. Meanwhile, as you can see, the fire crews are hard at work here as well. And on the other side of us here, the traffic. I want to speak to you about that for just a moment here. The traffic is isn't much affected at all at this time. Cars, semi trucks whizzing by us as I'm speaking to you right now. That's because this road is only partially blocked off and it's one lane at that and only for about 100 feet. They have two fire engines out here right now helping to block off those lanes along with a series of traffic cones and that's pretty much all the room they need since this crash did happen, of course, off road here. But yet again, one person dead. They're still working to identify that person. So stick with us for the latest updates from here on the city's northwest side. For now, I'm live this morning, Eric Cox, RTV6.